When the six participants are reunited on Christmas Island, they meet with a detention centre representative. Well, welcome to, uh, this is Flying Fish Cove. This is where the asylum seekers, or the clients, step their first step on, um, on Australian soil. I think what you're here to do is try and get an insight into the process so you can get an understanding of what the clients go through. I'm not necessarily what I'm, I'm going to I just want to know why it has to cost yeah. so much, that's all. That's yeah, probably really the, been the difficult and most difficult part about this trip though is that a lot of people in this group have their own private agenda and things that they want to find out and this is what keeps happening is whenever we're trying to find out the process it ends up going back to either intellectual sparring or people talking about their own private agenda and talking about wanting to know about things. I just, I'd like to ask you Peter how you feel about the children overboard. Thing now. Me right too. Now. Really? Yeah for yeah. sure. Oh, right. We all do. I want to know how you feel about it now. It was a bit of a stuff up. Uh, it wasn't a conspiracy as claimed by so many in your side who were totally opposed. Not my side, the Greens had nothing to do with it. When you voted for the Labour Party? No, so I didn't. I've oh. never voted for the Labour oh, okay, Party. Oh, fair no. enough, okay. People on the left are obviously please, took it as an opportunity. Please answer the question. We'd I think a lot of people would like to know. Well, I am answering the question. Good. And, uh, you know, it's been three weeks we've been together and you've set this up on the basis that, look, we're going tomorrow and really, you've had three weeks to ask me. Oh, we asked you. Wait, 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 wait. No, just hang on a sec. It hasn't That's been true. set up. No, it hasn't just, been no, set up. I don't curious. mind people asking me questions, seriously. And, Great But I'll let me just answer the question in the proper manner, if you don't mind. The reason I'm here is because I think this is a genuine issue. Now, you want to go back 12 years to an incident where nobody died. And as a result of what we did, we, in fact, stopped the boats coming and there were basically no drownings after that happened. For you, children overboard is just a distraction and a political fight we had 12 years ago. And isn't it sad that after three weeks, you're still on about a debate 12 years ago? Well, hang on a second. So, but I, I actually Sorry. asked the question. The reason I'm asking is because, because I feel... Because Catherine asked you to no, do it. No, not at all. <laughs> no, not at all. No. Listen, I didn't come down the last show. Sorry. Well, neither did yeah. I. Well, the reason I'm yeah. asking yeah. is because well, why haven't on you the, asked me on the, the last boat, three weeks? I haven't been with you the last three well, weeks. Well, the last been, week. The reason I asked you is well, not... No subject? way, please. The reason I asked you is not because Catherine asked me to ask you. It's because no. I've heard up teen times people speaking about it. It is a headline that I remember. As somebody who's come in and doesn't know about all the stuff that you guys know about, it's really difficult along the way to learn anything well, why when there's all me? these little issues. And, I mean, and another reason why I brought it up, Peter, is because the conversation that you and I had in Jakarta off camera when we spoke about politics and I said to you that I'm embarrassed that at my age I don't know enough about politics. And you sat there and you said, well, in Australia, you really don't need to worry because government is so good that you can just leave it up yeah. to them. And so I took this opportunity to not leave it up to them and to ask. But and, it's very patronising and, and insulting for you to stand there and say to me, well, why haven't you asked? I haven't asked you because I haven't been it's with you. It's not patronising, it's a fair me, question. You're saying to That's me that totally Kat, And when question. I said to you, no, I feel like That's I... That's very know. unfair. I mean, what I said to you about Australian politics is that we're lucky to live in a country where for a lot of Australians, they don't have to involve themselves in the details of every issue. Now, I actually think that's a great, that's a celebration for Australia. And the fact that you that's came on this, I haven't been critical of the fact that you're not as up with, you know, every no, issue. You and, you, and you, and you, well, why should you? I mean, you're living in LA, you've got other things to do. I mean, that's like a lot of Australian families. What you're saying about Australians not having to worry themselves with government. The problem is is that with an issue like this, when all you're fed is what's in the media, that's all you know. And I just wanted to make my point, which was uh, that I think well, it's, it's a not good really example. your point, sorry. It uh, is my point. Yeah, sure. You're still disregarding yeah. me. I, I do disregard you because I have reasons to do so. So Well what a and, shame it and, is that you have somebody I, standing and, in front of you that hasn't been exposed to politics like you have that's asking you a question and asking you to please educate well, I, me and you won't. I, well you I'm not in the education me. business, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. 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 What a yeah. shame, Peter. Yeah, what a no. shame. Thank you.